this is what happens uh, during daytime. You get the long wave, the short wave radiation coming in from the sun. Uh, that's heating up the soil, that's heating up the greenhouse temperature, that's heating up uh, your crops and your greenhouse and your crops start to send out long wave radiation to the atmosphere. But the incoming radiation is higher than the outgoing radiation, so that results in higher plant temperatures and also higher uh, greenhouse temperatures. But at the end of the day, when you take away the sunlight, uh, there is not coming any new radiation anymore in the greenhouse. So then the balance starts to change. Then the outgoing radiation will become bigger uh, than the incoming uh, radiation. And then that leads to a lower plant temperature because also plants send out uh, long wave radiation to the, the greenhouse roof and the greenhouse roof is sending it out to the, to the atmosphere. And when the plant temperature drops below the dew point, uh, like I said before, uh, you get condensation and you get uh, high mainly botrytis, but uh, fungus risk in, in your plants. And the solution for this is putting on high pressure sodium light, but the most uh, used uh, solution is closing the energy curtain. Because when you close the energy curtain, you also uh, reduce the outgoing radiation. And that means that your plants are not cooling down so quickly anymore. And they stay on, on the, the right, they keep the right temperature and the temperature is not dropping below uh, the dew point. And of course, you have to take care of the, 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 the moisture exchange, the relative humidity exchange, uh, that the relative humidity is not getting too high in your greenhouse. But actually, and most of the, the newer uh, energy curtains, they let through uh, some, some moisture, so you can still uh, exchange moisture from the greenhouse through the energy curtain. So, and what you see is that these days a lot of growers close the energy curtain at the end of the day, and that's only when it's uh, a clear sky, when it's on a cloudy day, the outgoing radiation is, is less. But they close the, the energy curtain to reduce the outgoing radiation and, and to avoid that uh, they get condensation in, in their crops. And you can use any kind of uh, energy curtain for that. And even if you close your energy curtain for 80%, it will already have enough effect on the outgoing in reducing the outgoing radiation and, and keeping your plant temperature uh, at the right level. And it is really uh, yeah, was an eye opener, at least for me, that okay, well, actually I keep my uh, I kept my energy curtain open because I was afraid of too high relative humidity, but it created another problem, and that was that my crop was uh, cooling down uh, too much, and, and it, it, it's I think it uh, it resulted in a revolutionary change in thinking in, 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 in at least in the Dutch greenhouse industry, but I think also worldwide, that growers uh, in the winter already start uh, screen, screening or closing the energy curtains a few hours uh, or at least one and a half hour before sunset, because yeah, the small amount of light that you will receive at that period is nothing compared with the outgoing uh, radiation. The outgoing radiation is at that point already much bigger than the incoming radiation from the sun. So then it's better to close uh, the, the, the energy curtain. And there are sensors available uh, which, you can connect, which you can connect with your climate uh, controller. The geometers, they are called, they measure the outgoing radiation. And when you see that the outgoing radiation is equal to the incoming uh, radiation, yeah, that's a good moment to close your, or, or, uh, your energy curtain to uh, reduce the outgoing radiation. And of course, okay, in this case, you can also use, at the end of the day, uh, you can check your plants, you can check the leaf temperature of your plants with your infrared thermometer to see if, if the, the temperature of the crop is not dropping uh, too much, uh, which could cause all kinds of uh, problems.